my name is Jibola, aka JIB. I'm an artist songwriter from Lagos, Nigeria. My childhood was very normal. I had like a normal Nigerian childhood. I grew up on a lot of music, Black Badger, a lot of Fela, Michael Jackson. And with the music I make, I wouldn't pin myself to a particular genre, but I get inspiration from Africa. I have a lot of African lingo in my music, so I'll say Afro fusion. I'll say Afro beats is Fela, basically, sim simply because Fela brought out Afrobeats out of speaking on struggles we Africans were going through, especially Nigerians at the time, or political corruption, or just everything that was going on in Nigeria. So those sounds and those um, vibrations he brought out were deemed or termed Afrobeats by basically everyone listening or even listening around the world. And he, I mean, he gave birth to artists like Lagbaja, Burner Boy of newer times, you know, a lot of artists around the world now still sample from Fela because, in my own terms, he brought Afrobeats. And he brought artists, to be fair, new age artists like myself, Whiskey, and all young artists, the Altair, that everyone still fall on Fela samples or still use Fela's lingo. So I'll say my musical journey um, right now <clears throat> is in the early stages. We, whatever I've done, or whatever I'm doing right now, it's quite early. So I'll say learning, I enjoy right now, I just enjoy the process, like making music, learning, hanging around producers, you know, just like taking in music, going back, listening to your mixes, listening to your masters, putting the excitement of putting music out, people giving you like feedback, people listening to you. Like I get very excited when people text me and be like, oh yeah, your song did this, oh, this song, to be fair, cause like, I mean, that's why I make music. African music, Nigerian music has made great, great strides and great improvement because I'll say, you know, honestly, Nigerian music has always been very, very good, very, very sonically sound. But I'll say now the world is catching up with more social media and, and a lot of like um, <clears throat> platforms that put African music forward. So, yeah, I'll say African music has emerged. But they are always, it has always been good from the days of the band, from the days of Two Faced to the days of Whiskey now, Part 9 African music. So I'll say that make beautiful strands. We have so, we have, and I'll say something, we have the best producers in the world right now. African producers are the best right now with the, with the kind of songs you bring out. And we have everyone in the world dancing, not even knowing the meaning of what they are saying or what they are singing. My name is Hyphen. My tag is Hande. I'm a singer, songwriter, producer, and engineer from Nigeria. Speaking about Nigerian music, I've seen it grow from what just a small number of people wanted to listen to at the time. Back then, everybody wanted to listen to like American music, and that was what was hot. But now, Nigerian music is actually taking over like the international areas. I've seen superstars get featured on Afrobeat records. I've seen our music grow from like poorly engineered low sound quality to now like the best engineers working on it, international producers hopping on it. And we've won Grammys, we've done... The only thing I want to see is collaboration. I want to see collaboration amongst like the female artists. I want to see female artists actually become as big. I know they're quite big, but I, I want them to get as big as the male artists. And I want to see collaboration amongst like our top male artists. Like I feel like that's the only thing stopping us from like breaking all boundaries. I know they'll create really good music if they actually work with themselves. I think the key difference in the African music scene or the Nigerian music scene and the UK music scene is just structure because 
we have the same platforms they have jrm daily mixtape madness and we have glitch africa or cloud africa it's still the same building up traffic for your music and people fall in love into your story i'll say the key difference might be influencing we live different lives i'll say back in nigeria or back or in here in the uk but it's still the same love of music that makes you want to make music like me personally i was influenced i've been influenced by i'll say skepta um gigs you know a more recent time i'll say j Huss, you know j5 the thing is what the answers or what the political climate cost the music industry to do is speak up just be involved because music is something that is really big in africa it's really big so it's, we kind of use it as a tool you know during the protest there was a lot of like songs coming up i'll call them war songs my upcoming project i have a song that i say still shouting in stars you know like still shout because you can't just stop there like wake up and be like yo we can't just like lie down you need to use your music to speak up in regards to fella you could hear his passion you know just like what he thought africa should be like with songs like zombie coughing of head of state even till today no artist has spoken about the government until today we try to emulate his dancers would dress up. He was in the UK up until he left for his masters and came back to Nigeria and was like, okay, let's be Africans. I have a line that in my upcoming project that says, um, moving like fella, you know nothing can touch us. Cause you know, he was like that passionate about what he was doing that he used to say, um, I have death in my pouch. And he could like, but I was like, he couldn't die, you know, like, so it's just like gives you that extra ginger to go hard in whatever you're doing you know like obviously in, in my upcoming project i have their normal so they are normal nigerians and all people like you know but it might be titled mission 22 a lot has happened since my last project a lot has happened a lot like moving from yeah man just a lot of influences